All right, so today we're going to be talking about how to raid an ocean monument effectively. Um, a couple things I suggest bringing. I'm bringing a conduit, but we're not going to use that right away. You're definitely going to want a bucket of milk um, and at least three water breathing potions of eight minutes. To get a water breathing potion, you're going to need um, a puffer fish. Um, there's a couple ways you can get a puffer fish. Uh, you can either find a warm ocean, which has all the coral in it, and puffer fish swim around there. You hit them with your sword, pick them up, and then use a nether wart and a brewing stand, and then. Um, put the puffer fish in and then use a redstone to make it last longer or you can find a watering a wandering trader and sometimes they will sell a puffer fish in a bucket if you get lucky but you're probably going to be better off finding a warm ocean so i also recommend bringing really good armor because they do thorns damage as well as their laser attack which is pretty strong and a pretty decent trident um loyalty a lot of people like i prefer riptide just because i enjoy it but loyalty is probably the easier way to go, to be honest, because you don't take damage from hitting them with that. <clears throat> so we're going to head over to an ocean monument. I'm eventually going to make this um, a base because I enjoy it and probably turn it into a guardian farm at the same time for infinite sea lanterns. But I already have a lead on one, which is right over here. So we're just going to head there real quick and I will see you in a second. All right, we're actually at the Ocean Monument. If you can see it, it's right there in the water. Um, if you have trouble finding one in your world, which you probably shouldn't, they're, they're fairly common. Um, you can buy a map from um, a cartographer villager that sends you right to one. What the? Why'd all those just break? That was weird. Um, we're gonna head over to this Ocean Monument now. We're gonna put on our armor right now. We could fly over the top, which I might do, and then put my armor on and drop down. But uh, first things first. So we're gonna drink this water breathing potion while we're in the air. We're going to equip our armor. We're going to get this debuff instantly, which is fine because we prepared for this. The front entrance is always underneath these sea lanterns right here. And now we're going to find a way. These things can be kind of mazy. That's why I brought three water breathing potions. We're going to look for the guy at the top. There's always three of the big guardians inside these that you have to kill before this debuff wears off. And this debuff stops you from mining anything so it can be a death trap if you get lost in here here's one we're gonna take him down get destroyed bro thanks for the sponge so that's one down there's always one at the top one in the middle and then one in like a little back corridor kind of so we're gonna follow it we went that way originally we came up from that hole over there so we got to kind of try to keep our uh, wits about us and remember which way we went we really really want to sponge room so that way we can clear this area out and turn it into a base Here's the other one. Whoa. He's an, he's like stuck in there. Can I hit him, game? Interesting. Die. All right. So that's two down. That's the one at the top. One in the little back corridor. We got two sponges already. Um, definitely not enough to clear out all this water. But we have eight minutes of water breathing. And then we have another two potions of water breathing to back us up afterwards in case that's not enough. So we're going to look around. Each one of these is kind of generated slightly differently. So... You're going to want to be quick, look around, Depth Strider I highly recommend. They have like little weird corridors, we got to check because they can be anywhere here. Hmm, see how mazy this is? Oh, oh, we found him, this is number three. After we kill this guy, we can drink our bucket of milk. Easy. Very, very easy. So now, you're going to put on your bucket of milk. That will take away your mining debuff, and since all the alpha guardians are gone, you will not get the debuff again, so now we can mine out if we ever get in trouble. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to take off the trident because we don't need it for right now. We're going to put on that other potion of water reading and make sure that we're fully healed up. There's a ton of gold blocks in the center, but what we're really looking for, that see there's a guardian right there on the other side of the wall. We need a sponge room. And now, if we need to, we can dig through walls in case we get stuck or anything happens. But it's, it's really that easy. So what we're looking for, sponge rooms are always going to be in the ceiling. Hmm. If this one doesn't have a sponge room, that's unfortunate. I drank the milk, by the way. When you drink the milk, don't forget that your water breathing potion will wear off. Um, you're going to have to drink another one, which is fine now because if anything happens, we can just get out pretty, pretty easily. Pick back up that water bottle, which I didn't want to. So we have to look around and try to find any little inlet into the ceiling and we got to look everywhere and try to find a sponge room sometimes they don't have a sponge room and if that happens you have to go do another one to try to find a sponge room yep this is where we killed the alpha guardian that's in the top let's make sure we're not missing anything 
we really, really, really want a sponge room. If we don't get one, it's very unfortunate, and we're going to have to find another one. Which really sucks, because I really want to turn this into a base. I always love making uh, these into bases, which I will turn into a guardian farm. This one I'll turn into the guardian farm 100%, and I'll make a tutorial on that as well. They're much easier on Java than they are on Bedrock. Bedrock, you really need to... Uh, know technically what you're doing it's extremely hard i actually learned it from someone else because i definitely would have never figured it out on my own i'm not even gonna lie because the grid that they give you is kind of confusing but now that i've done it a few times i know exactly what i'm doing i don't think i've ever checked over here uh it's not looking good for a sponge room in this one but does this lead outside it indeed does Okay, so upon further review, there was no sponge room in there, but I figured while we're here, I might as well go over how to make a conduit as well. It's actually very, very simple. So you're going to come down. I'm going to do it right in front of the Ocean Monument because I'm going to be doing some work here later. Um, it's going to be a little dangerous. We're going to have guardians attacking us and drown, but we'll, uh, we'll deal. I'm holding the totem of undying just to be safe. So you're going to pillar up like this, give yourself a little bit of space. Then you're going to set the conduit down right on top then you're going to break the block that you use to set it on and then it's going to be five length in all directions so that's already two that's three that's four. Oh, you only want one block of space in between so we're going to go like this one two three four five boom 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 i have a drowned about to start attacking me i have to bring this over one more don't forget to check your air at the same time. The conduit's now active. That's a very weak conduit. So we'll get water breathing now and night vision while we're underwater. So we don't have to worry about our breath anymore. Once you get this small frame set up, you're good. But we also got to worry about guardians, which are going to be trying to attack us. He's drowned. So just be careful. Then you're going to come out on this side. You're going to go up like this. Make sure there's one space in between. It has to have full water source blocks too, so you see this drown trying to attack me with this trident? My trident's better, bro. I promise you. You lose. Thanks for your trident. Sir. Sir. This is a Wendy's? Okay. So we're going to come to this side. We have a guardian up there that's probably going to target us in two seconds, so we're going to come out too. Then we're going to go up like so. To get a full power, it needs to be 40-something, I believe, um, but it's okay. Once you got the shape... There's no, there's nothing to worry about. The more prismarine you add up, the longer the distance gets up to a certain amount. It's a pretty, pretty big amount though. So we're going to go like this. Boom. So as you can see, we have this uh, frame around it, which is pretty good. Um, since we have, what is it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. But you actually don't count the middle one twice. So that's nine, 18. Yeah, so we're pretty much almost at the max. We're going to go out like this on the bottom as well. Just like so. Ow. What hit me? Yeah, it's that guardian right there. So once you go like this, you'll get an achievement if you haven't already done it. But I have, so I'm not going to get the achievement. I have to deal these. There's a lot of these guardians right now. Get destroyed, bro. Get out of here. I don't care. I'll kill you all. <laughs> I'm a madman. Get away from me. They'll just keep spawning. I'm just trying to clear out the ones that are too close so I can finish this. <laughs> don't mind me. So we'll go like this. This is probably where loyalty trident's better because you get thorns damage every time you hit them but that's fine so we'll go like this and when you have something like this it should be a fully powered um conduit so now if you can see we're gonna swim pretty far distance away and the further we go away you can see it's still active right now we can even use the trident to go quicker so as you can see even at this distance it's still active still active still active that's a pretty far distance still pretty far look at that we're this far away you can't even see the conduit anymore and we still have the full water breathing and night vision so we're gonna keep going so right about 
So right here we still have it. All right, so we have about this distance away from the underwater monument, which is pretty far, honestly. That's pretty good distance for the conduit, which means that when we're inside the temple itself, it should be able to reach throughout the whole temple, no issue. Interesting, I was stuck in a block. <laughs> the Riptide tried it, but as you can see, throughout the whole monument, you can um, swim around, see everything just fine, doesn't matter how dark it is, you're going to have unlimited water breathing, and there'll be no issues. So we're going to go to the other side of the temple, as far away from it as we can. As you can see, I was going to build it in here, but I decided to bring it outside to let make the example easier. Um, yeah. The whole temple this should cover, no problem. Uh, the only problem is you have mining fatigue, and you don't have any prismarine, most likely the first time you do an underwater monument. So keep that in mind. But as you can see, it covers us throughout the whole thing. Um, so when you're going to be working here draining water, you don't have to worry about drowning. It's very good. All right. I hope this helps and I will see you when I turn this into a guardian farm.